Hey friends, teacher Tiffany here and I am live from my classroom. Well, I guess not really live by the time you guys see this, but I am going to walk you through my morning meeting. I mentioned it in my last video and I was like, oh, I should make a video about morning meetings. So here we are. Um, morning meeting is responsive classroom, which is basically like a classroom management technique that you can use. Um, morning meeting is one of the components of being RC, or responsive classroom. Um, so there are several components to morning meeting. I have adapted it um, to my classroom needs, so I don't do all of the components, uh, but I'm gonna walk you through what our morning meeting looks like, and if you have any questions or comments, as I always say, drop them in the comment section below. So, the students come in the door and they drop their homework folders off and then they walk around the corner and to the carpet. And at the carpet, I have, this is kind of my morning hub, I have a bucket in the middle and I have laminated name tags. So all around the carpet, I have their different name tags set up around the perimeter and they find their name tag and place it in the bucket. Um, this also helps if you have students absent because obviously nobody puts their tags in the bucket and then I just take those tags and that's how I take attendance. Um, so they put their name in the bucket and that's where they sit. I do this so that students are sitting by somebody new every day and not just by their BFF. Um, so I mix up the name cards and just put them out random and that is who they sit by. So after they do that we go around and do greetings. Um, I do greetings from around the world. I got these cards from Lakeshore. I've used them every year since I've gotten them and I love them and the kids also love them. So we do one new greeting a week. Um, right now we're doing a greeting from the Nether Netherlands and then each Monday I switch it out when we do a new greeting. So our greeting cards I keep down here and it just shows like what a kid looks like from that culture and um, how you write it in their culture and how you say it in English. So yeah, the kids love it. So we go around the circle, we greet each other with our greeting. Um, second part is the message. So I have back here a pointer that I use and I point to the message and we all read it together. Um, I always say the day of the week, what specialists we have, and then I end it with um, some sort of social skills statement or a question and we talk about that um, skill. Down below are all of our sight words for the week, um, so I just review those whenever we have a down moment or in transition. Um, that's not necessarily a morning meeting thing, just a when we have time thing. Um, so after we read the message together, I have someone come over and help me with calendar. So they'll come and put a new number in the slot, um, they'll do our days of the week, they'll, I have them peek outside the window and I switch the weather. Um, these are just sentence strips that I cut up with Velcro. Class jobs are set all week. This is the latest addition to our morning meeting routine. I really like the visual. Um, I have a butterfly clip for days of the week because the days of the week fly by. So we move the clip to the whatever day it is. Months of the year go slow like a turtle. So that one obviously doesn't get moved as much. So it's just a good um, visual for first graders. And that's morning meeting. Uh, when we're all done, this is my teacher chair, and then this is my reading stuff. And I just have the kids go from a circle sit to sitting at their, they each have an assigned rug spot, and we just transition from that right into reading. Watch this video back and realize I forgot to tell you 
what the purpose is of morning meeting. So I'm not in my classroom anymore and I realize this video is kind of all over the place, but you obviously need to know a why behind um, why you're doing a classroom ritual and routine every day, which is what morning meeting is. Um, I find morning meeting to be really important for my, check out that glare from the light. <laughs> There we go. I find morning meeting to be um, a really important element of the school day um, for a few reasons. I love the all around the world greetings. The students do too. Um, we kind of live in a bubble <laughs> um, with the community that I teach in and a lot of them don't get the opportunities um, to travel outside of the state, much less country. And so it really opens their eyes um, to different parts of the world and I show them where it is on the map and um, it's just cool to expose them to different cultures in that really little way. Um, I like having the intentional social skills conversations which is what I integrate into our morning message and you can also integrate academic skills into your morning message too. Um, I have a lot of time constraints on my morning meeting so I don't have the time for that but that message time can be used to reinforce a lot of different academic or social skills that you want to go over with your class. Um, it kind of sets the tone for the day. You just get all the odds and ends things taken out of the way, go over jobs for the day. At the end of morning meeting, if I have any news or announcements, I let them know about that. Um, I have a full observation tomorrow, so my assistant principal is going to be in the room for an hour during reading. So that's kind of my nuts and bolts time with them too if I have anything. So I was like, okay, just so you guys know, tomorrow Miss, you know, our assistant principal is going to be in the room and just kind of go over news and announcements type stuff um, so they can anticipate what's going to happen in the day. I like predictability and so um, I'm very good at offering that to my students as well. Um, but the biggest reason why I do morning meeting is to build community. Um, the students are greeting someone new every morning. They're sitting by someone new. Um, we're reading a message together. Um, you know, it's, it's a communal time to start out the day. And um, again, reinforcing those social skills and being able to talk about that as a whole group. Um, year after year, it's just proven to be one of the things that binds my classroom together. Um, and in total, it takes us not even 10 minutes. Um, so when the students get it down, you really just flow into a routine with it. And like I said, we go straight from, since they're already at the carpet anyway, we go straight from morning meeting into another routine. Um, technically, morning meeting is supposed to have like a game component and a sharing component, but like I said, my class were on a time constraint. I have literacy right away in the morning, um, so morning meeting does have to be modified, uh, but there are other components to it where morning meeting is supposed to last about 30 minutes. Uh, but like I said, it's just not realistic for me, but I wanted to adapt and use it for my classroom because I do think morning meeting is a really important tool for um, a classroom bond so I would encourage you to adapt it to your classroom needs and make it your own I've seen nothing but positive things come out of it so best of luck